Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to detect if a user is active on your website or not using Page Visibility API. If you go to google.com and search for the Page Visibility API, you will see these docs. And it is written here, uh, a very good example is given here actually. For example, if your web app is playing a video, it can pause the video when the user puts the tab into the background and resume playback when the user returns to the tab. So it will work in both the cases when you minimize the window or switch to another tab. Let's see an example of it. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. One div element and one h1 element. I want to display a counter here, so I'll set it to zero. Let's add some styling here. So margin top will be 20 pixels. Text align will be center. And we'll just add the script tag here. Script.js. Save it. Now go to script file. Let's select the counter. So it will be document.query selector. I'll select the h1 tag. Now I need to add one event listener here. It will be DOM content loaded event. So I want to run this counter when the page is loaded. And there will be a function start counter. We need two variables here. First will be interval ID. It will be undefined. And we need counter value. Let's set it to zero. And let's create a function start counter. We'll make use of set interval function here. Okay, it should be interval ID. And this will be the function. I want to run this function every one second. What I want to do here, I want to increment the value of counter. And counter dot inner text will be equal to this value. Also, we need one function to stop this counter. So it will be stop counter. And we'll simply make use of clear interval method here and pass the interval ID. That's it. Now open this file in the browser. I'm making use of live server extension here. And that's a counter. Now I want to pause this counter if I'll go to this uh, page visibility API docs and I want to resume this counter and I'll come back again. So there's a event which is visibility change event and there's a property document dot hidden property which you can use to detect if the page is visible or not. So let's go to script file. Let's add event listener. So event is visibility change I want to execute this function I want to check if the document is hidden if it is hidden I want to stop the counter and return and if it is not hidden I want to start the counter that's it so this piece of code will basically pause the counter when I'm not on the page and the moment when I will come back on the page it will start the counter or you can say resume the counter save it go to the browser so counter is started let me go to this visibility API and see the counter it is right now 6 let's wait for a while so we are not active on this page we are simply browsing this docs now let's go to this page again See, the counter is resumed. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.